Hey guys, it's Melissa with Web of Creativity. This is a part two video of the detachable mini album, uh, detachable pages mini album, large version. So the part one is of the cover, including the shaker element and the binding, which is my detachable pages binding. And then this video is going to be all about the pages and the tags and stuff. So, um, we have our four pages, and this is our binding right here for the four pages. And all the pages are removable. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them out. So again, part one is about um, the album cover and the binding. So I'm gonna move that to the side. And this video is about making these pages. So there's four pages and two styles. We are going to be making these two pages in the video. Um, so this page is a waterfall type. So we have our waterfall right here. And I still need to decorate it. So all I have is um, clean um, version right now and keep track or keep an eye out for um, a video or a blog post of when I get it all decorated with all my embellishments and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to get out the video sooner than later. So this is page style two. So we have some pockets right away and then we open up and have some photo mats and open up again with a photo mat and then a large area right here. And it is identical to the other side. So it's mirrored image right here. Um, and the inside, uh, we have two versions. This is a vertical and then I have a horizontal one. Um, so if you keep an, uh, keep watching at the end of this video, I'll show you all four pages and the inside of all those. So we're going to get started with page style one, which is the waterfall, sti um, waterfall style. And then we'll do our flap style. Uh, so before we get started, just wanted to let you know that a tutorial and uh, kits are available on my blog at www.webofcreativity.net. Uh, I do have a limited number of kits. Um, but the tutorial is a downloadable PDF, so go ahead and um, if you're interested in this binding technique and these large um, pages right here, please head over to my blog. Uh, also, I am on Facebook, so please go and like my page, uh, follow and subscribe. It's uh, facebook.com slash web of creativity, and then you can subscribe to um, a newsletter, which is on my blog. I think it's the top left corner. I ask if you want to subscribe. Um, I don't do them too often, so I don't crowd your inbox. So it's just once in a while I'll throw out um, a newsletter with what's going on and any uh, sales that I might be having. Okay, let's get started on these pages. This album consists of four pages and two style of pages. Uh, so we're going to make um, the base page for all four pages um, for both styles. So we have... Um, this, this, oh, my camera doesn't like this black, so we do have one sheet that's a little bit bigger than the second sheet, and then this is the closure. So the closure has two score lines, and we're just going to fold on the score line. Um, this is mostly a prep and a little bit of assembly because um, the closure doesn't get attached until we have. Um, matting on, uh, on the main base page. So it's only going to be a partial. Um, so I haven't decided whether I want to stub punch these corners or if I want to do an angle. Okay, I'm gonna do a stub. I'm just gonna stub punch um, these corners. Uh, so that's the closure and we'll have uh, attached this to the back of the page and then this is going to have magnets on it. Put that to the side. So this guy, uh, gotta keep it low. This guy has two scores. 
So we're going to fold on both of those scores. And the first score is where we're attaching. So we're going to uh, taper. So we have our two, two score lines. We're going to taper from the first score line and cut at an angle. And we're going to do that to the other side. And then we're going to attach our tape. Get my tape. And add tape to the tapered um, tab here. Cut my excess of tape off. And then, um, oh, I've got tape on my fingers. Okay, so then we're going to attach the second sheet. So the second sheet is going to go and attach and butt up to the first score line. Going to butt it up against the first score line. So that's pretty easy and pretty simple for our base page. And then our um, closure will attach to the back once it's matted. This will close and then this will close in front of it. So um, now when I attached it, I attached the tab to the back side, but you can attach the tab to the front side. It doesn't really matter which side. Um, it's just, it's going to get matted either way. So that's our base page for all, um, for both styles. For style one, I've added a waterfall element. So I have um, three pieces that I cut and then I scored in the middle. Uh, all my all my scoring and measurements are on the tutorial, which is on my blog, www.webofcreativity.net. Okay, so for all three of these, we're just going to fold on the score line. Made it real simple. And then um, we are going to tape the centerpiece here. My... Uh, Oh, my one, my half inch tape's almost empty, so I'm just going to use my three eighth inch tape. And you're going to do that to all three of the flaps. So this, this one that has two ends up being two flaps. This, the taped edge is going to get taped to um, the album and then you have two flaps here uh, so we're not doing that yet because it needs to get matted um, the page needs to get matted before attaching so I'm just going to stub punch this um, and these guys are pretty big so this is this is seven by five, so it's perfect for four by six photos. So you're gonna do all three of them. Once this, uh, the inside is matted, we're going to attach to the um, right side of the page. Okay, now we need to work on the left side of the page. Okay, so I've made three of my waterfall pages, which makes six flaps. I'm going to set this aside and on the inside, uh, left side of, of the cover, we have, um, left side of the page, we have two pieces. So the bigger piece is get scored the bottom and the side, and then the smaller piece gets scored on the side and the bottom. This piece gets a little extra. So we're going to measure and mark. Um, I'm going to draw a line from my measurement on the top to the score line at the bottom. And um, I need to flip my ruler around. There to the score line. Hold and use my... I uh, forgot to grab my... Uh, oh. Um, 
half knife because we're going to just cut it off. Oh, I need to change my blade. So we cut that at an angle. Uh, if you don't, but this isn't a necessity. Um, if you don't want to cut it at an angle, you don't have to. This just um, gives an angled pocket. Okay, so then we'll just stay with the small one. And um, I don't oh, like that. I didn't uh, cut the top. The top got snagged. I'm going to go ahead and trim that. Fold on my score lines. Okay, so now that the score lines are folded, we need to trim them. So, because this one's at an angle, we don't want to see any of this piece right here. So we're going to trim it at a, even a further angle. So we got that at a further angle, so now you won't see it. So we're going to cut this one at the, an angle, and then we're going to do the same thing with this corner. So if this little piece right here wasn't there, we'd be cutting it just at an angle. So you tapered all the corners. So this just gets one, one cut like that. Um, so that is our side pocket, but I'm going to add our tape to wrong tape. Turn that access and take that. Perfect. So now that I'm taped, this will fold under and this part will attach. So then we'll have that side pocket. So this guy, we're going to fold on the score lines, the side and Top, I mean the bottom and then we're going to taper those corners so I'm going to cut it at an angle from the score line the same with this corner I'm just going to cut that corner off and add my tape to the tabs So let me grab. So when this guy is opened on the left side and matted, because it's not matted yet, we are going to attach it at the bottom, like so. And this has a little gap on this side, um, not attached. So it's an open-ended pocket on the side. That's so we can slide this guy in and then close it like that. And then we have a pocket here. So we'll have two pockets. One here and then one here. Um, these don't get attached just yet either. It needs the mat. Um, I haven't decided whether I wanted to mat a little further down or cut it short. So we're not gonna attach it just yet. Plus we wanna mat this piece before we attach this. So this is just prep work. So this is our first uh, style page. So our second style page is going to use the same base page. So I'm going to set all these aside. For our second style of page, um, the inside cover for the right and left are going to be the same thing. So um, we're starting off with some flaps. So we got two for the right side and two for the left side. All of them are the same. One little score for our tab. Fold on the score line, taper the corners, and then we're gonna add tape to the tab. And repeat three more times. So this is our 
flap. Then our next flap has two scores because it's a pocket and a flap. So we have our first score for our tab and then our second score, this is for our pocket. So we're going to fold our tab first. Taper the corners. And then add tape to our tab. And this is what's going to be attached to the page. Next is our pocket piece. So then we're going to fold our pocket piece up. So you should have one main page, two flaps with the tabs, and then two pocket flaps. So we're going to attach the pocket flaps first. Um, so your pocket flap is going to get attached to the right edge flush. Um, even from the top and bottom. So it's going to be about, I think it's about a fourth of an inch. Yeah, fourth of an inch from the top and bottom. So let me go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to rotate this so I can see it better. Um, so I'm going to attach, I'm eyeballing a fourth of an inch from the top and bottom flush to that edge. There I go. So for the second one, before I attach it, this I want it to butt up against it evenly at the top and bottom. And I'm going to lay it down just to make sure that I'm not going over that scored edge. Uh, I don't want it to get caught when it goes over and it does not look like it is. So that is perfect. Then I'm going to remove my tape backing. And again, I'm going to use that page, I gotta see it, make sure I'm even at the top and bottom. Gotta slow it, pull it down, and then I'm going to attach. Just because I want them to be budding. Um, so then these flaps get attached at the top and bottom, and these butt up against each other as well. So um, I'm going to attach the top one first. Uh, let me, I know I'm off camera, just let me get an idea of, because um, it's a little bit smaller. So I'm getting an idea of where I want to put it. I'm going to turn it upside down um, so I can see it. I'm going to use my ruler. And my camera just does not like this black. Um, I'm going to use my roller to center. So I have that centered. And then I'm going to take the second one. And before I attach, I'm going to butt up against it. Make sure I'm not going to overhang too much if it needs to be trimmed, but it looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my tape backing and again holding. I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can see. Make sure I'm butting up against and it's even at the both sides. So then we'll have these close and then these will close. So we repeat this on this side. So we'll have two of them and then we need to um, create the pockets for our tags. This album has two page styles. So we're going to go ahead and match page style one, which is the waterfall style. Um, so right now I just got the bare um, page. So we're going to match the bare page. I have the front, back, and then one inside piece. Um, and then the closure piece. So for the closure, 
Um, I have a cut out three mats. It's for the front back and then the back because the one side will be taped to the back and doesn't need to be matted. Uh, so the only thing that I wanted to do here was to stump punch, corner punch um, my mats. So I'm using a stub punch from We Are Memory Keepers. So I'm gonna um, do that. Then I inked, I'm gonna ink all of my edges with Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. I like the dress, Distress Oxide better than the just dress, Distress Vintage Photo. Um, it just has a little bit different color variation to it that I happen to like with Graphic 45 papers. Either one will work. I used to just do the vintage photo one. Um, so let me get these punched and taped up to cover or mat our stuff. So one of the first things we need to do before we mat it is place our magnet. Um, so I'm going to take my ruler and um, mark the centered and then one inch up. And that's where I'm going to place my magnet. So I made my mark, got my magnet, attach it. Attach it. So I'm going to attach um, the backside paper first. So I can attach this guy and then flip it over and know where I'm going to place it. So let me attach um, the backside. I already cut out my papers. Um, all the paper measurements are in the tutorial, which can be found on my blog, www.webofcreativity.net. And I'm going to add some extra adhesive to the back here. And then I'm going to put that flat. So I cut all my mats so there's um, one eighth inch border. Oh, so that's good. And I need to add my tape to my closure. So just on the inside, before the score line, Go ahead and mat this piece real quick, just the back side. Well, I'll do the right there. I think I'll do the middle too. So this is going to go to the middle. I'm going to use a, a ruler and not eyeball it, but let me get my piece ready to go. my Tim Holtz ruler that has the center point in the middle. So I know where the middle is. No, no. And then I'm going to sometimes need to uh, need more hands than two. Perfect. So now that I have it measured, 
I could have just marked it with a ruler before I attach it. I'm making sure that the paper is in the groove of the score line. Now, uh, I did adjust a little, so not much, just a smidge. All right, now that I know where that is, and I'm going to go ahead and attach the middle piece right here. And magnet, magnet. All right, so I'm going to attach the magnet here. And I need some tape on it. Tape. Remove the tape backing. Okay. And we're going to hold, we're going to make sure this is lined up in the groove of um, oh that oh that's much better. We're gonna hold it up like that. Make sure the paper is in the groove. That looks good. Perfect. Add my tape to my magnet. Add the mat. One last mat to add. Okay, that's hard to see black on black. There we go, much better. It's starting to come out, come together. All right, next we're going to um, attach the front cover. Now I'm going to lay this flat um, just so I can see it better and I'm going to line everything up so it's a 1 8 inch border nice and smooth and then we have a strip that goes in the middle. I'm going to turn this so I can see it. Looking good, and then I'm going to do um, the inside on the right side. This is going to be underneath the um, waterfall. And then the inside strip. All right, it's coming together even more. Now we need to put the stuff on the inside. 
Next we have our waterfall element. So our waterfall element is three pieces to equal two of your waterfalls. So for the, for the mats for this, we have our top first mat, which is a full size mat of pattern paper. And then we're gonna punch um, the uh, bottom two corners. And then for the rest, we're gonna have a solid, solid piece of cream card stock for where our photos go. And then we're gonna have a strip of our pattern paper. So we're gonna to need to punch the corners of the pattern paper um, for the top strip and the bottom strip. So the reason why we're doing um, cardstock mats and not full um, pattern paper mats is because of the paper. Um, it's the waterfall is big, so using 12 by 12 paper and cutting it, you're only using one sheet for two two mats only, and there's six pages, which has 12 mats. Um, that's a lot of mats. It's a lot of paper, pattern paper to use. Uh, and there's not enough. I didn't actually check to see if there was enough. I just looked and didn't look like there was enough to do two full waterfalls of this size um, using paper. So we're just doing the strips just to get that good color effect um, when it's closed. You can see the pattern paper and when it's opened, it's place perfectly for your photo. Um, I'm not inking the edges of this, but I'm taping them. I will be inking the edges of these. So these are gonna get um, punched. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna punch all of these strips, ink them and tape them before we attach them to our waterfall. Okay, so working on matting the um, waterfall, I'm just gonna do um, a couple of pages here. So the first, of course, the first front one is going to have the full mat. I'm gonna open it up just so I can see it. Oh, I didn't ink it. Let me ink the edge. So I'm going to attach. Um, making sure that looks even. So that's our first page. So inside we got, um, we'll just take two of these strips and I'm just gonna give this a look-see where I want that guy to go. Um, not on the screen. All right. So then I attached him. He's one inch from the bottom. And I got the mat, which I'm going to add some extra adhesive to with um, my glider here. This one's gonna go perfect. So I'm making sure I'm lining it up between this one and this one on the sides and still have that 1 8 inch border. I do have a strip that I cut for the center. Making sure I'm lining it up so it looks smooth. Take another one of these strips and I'm placing um, one of these guys. That's just to give me an idea of where it's going to go. And oh, I can't see that way. I'm going to have to flip this around so I can see. Okay. 
Okay. And little low but I don't think you're gonna be able to tell nope you can't tell ah uh, that looks really good so now just repeat do the back side just like this side and um, do the other two just like this except this front cover on the next one will be um, this mat right there all right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach our waterfall pages. So I have them complete. And we're going to start from the top and we're gonna go about a quarter inch down. And I'm going to measure with my ruler. So I like the Tim Holtz ruler because it has that center point. Um, but I'm gonna flip this upside down so I can get a better view of it. Um, while I'm recording. Alright, so let me make sure I have that right. There we go. So my next one is going to be a half an inch away from the first one. Make sure it's all lined up before I press down on the seam. And last but not least, so measuring from the score line over here, and I'm going to pull it close to me real quick just so I can make sure I'm lined up. And before I press down on it, making sure I'm all lined up. There we go. Looks nice and smooth and even. Perfect. Now we can work on our pocket over here. So we're gonna work on the mat for the short pocket. So here's the long pocket, and then here is our short angled pocket. So I cut out the mat for it, but we do need to trim it down. So um, at an angle, so I'm marking my um, spot. That's not, that's not right, it's here. So it's from here to the corner. Then I'm going to take my um, craft knife. Let's see if I got that right. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to ink the edges of the paper and add my tape. All right. So for our large pocket, we have a partial mat. Um, since it's going to get covered, so we have a mat for the right side of the pocket. Uh, the right side of the pocket has the tab, this side, the left side does not. So I'm going to go ahead and mat that. And And then we're going to mat our sh 
short pocket. Removing my tape backing. Add a little extra adhesive. I forgot to ink the edges. I'm just inking edges off camera. attach this uh, flush to the bottom but there is that score line we're going to go a little bit away from the score line this pocket is um, shorter than the paper by um, so if I line it up you can see there's just a little bit of a gap here so we can move it over So it doesn't hook onto um, that score line. So when we shut it, it it shuts. It bends just fine. So we got that pocket right here. Now this pocket piece, because this has an opening, is going to slide underneath it, attaching flush to this side, not flush to this, and then we're going to close it. Gonna slide and it's going to be even at the top and bottom. And then we're going to remove this guy and fold over, lining it up at the bottom. Perfect. Now I have that pocket, this pocket. And we need this top piece right here. And I'm going to add an extra strip of adhesive. And then uh, my 1 8 inch border. Perfect. There we go. Now it's ready for some tags and embellishments. So that is um, page style one. And then we'll work on those tags a little bit later. Mm, so we're doing our tags. Um, and tags are only for two of the pages. That's the waterfall page with the pockets. So um, I have three different size tags here and this longer tag is if you can see scored right down the middle and we're just going to fold it now I made these tags specifically for um, my die um, my my biggest die cut for my photo mats um, so you can you, you don't have to have the same size tags. This just happens to fit uh, my photo mats. So I made four. So for the folded one, I'm gonna have two of the photo mats on the inside and then the outside I'm gonna have the pattern paper. And then I have two different sizes. One size is going to just be just the photo mat. And this guy, I want it to turn this way. And then I'm gonna add um, uh, pattern paper or solid at the top. So that's how I'm doing these tags. So let's get them done real quick and put them in the album and see what they look like. Thank you. 
Um, so my tip with tags is I typically do my tags last and use my scraps. I don't want to use full pieces of uh, pattern paper and then run out of pattern paper while making my album and my pages. So I make my tags last and use um, whatever scraps I have available. Now, again, the album, um, you know, I, I used the mat size to control what size my tags are. Um, so if you wanted larger tags, uh, they will work in the album. you can have two tags this size or a few of them um, the reason I did this with a little bit of paper at the top is I thought it would be perfect for a title um, or you know um, journaling or something um, right there or it just breaks up the, the color so let's see how this looks and we got our folded tag and then our longer tag and then this guy right here so we have our um, fits nicely in our pocket and again you know if you wanted a bigger size um, tag because we do have more room you can do that too but there we go and that's our tags um, same make the same type for our second page For our second style page, I already um, matted the, the front of this. It's exactly the same um, matting I did for the first one. So it's identical. Um, and then the inside is our difference. So we have two pocket pages, so we have to turn those into pockets. And I went ahead and punched the corners. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to or not. Um, I decided on punching the corners. I also changed the way I was going to uh, close these. At first I was going to use um, just some tabs and um, close them like that, but I didn't like how it looked on the back side. Then I was gonna tuck it in and attach it and decided I didn't need that either. So I'm just doing away with these um, and then just taping them closed. So I wanna mat them before I tape them closed. And um, I don't have full mats, so I only have a partial mat. So our second mat is, uh, it is identical, but um, when you put the tag in there, it's gonna break up that color. Um, so I'm gonna use my stub punch to just punch um, the corner that's not cut, it's this piece. There we go. Punch the corner here. So there's that one and then this one and I don't think any of these actually line up the way that I um, cut them. That looks the closest so I'll just do that. Alright so I got those two and then um, that mat. So I've got those prepped. Now I need to ink and um, tape those. And then on the inside, I'm going to have two full mats. And I'm not going to um, corner punch those. It's just going to be two full mats. But the um, inside ones I cut out. Um, some photo mats and because I used a die that has this border around it that matches I don't even know if that's showing up on camera matches the frame that I put in the front cover um, I cut out some 
blue and I think what I'm going to do with the blue and I don't I'm just going to go ahead and do it is stub punch all four corners of that so I'm going to do it's going to look like that and then on the inside flaps Side flaps we're going to use the same matte piece and then have um, blue extra so I'm going to stub punch all of that and the inside to save on paper because that's a full large mat um, I have a large place for a photo or journaling and then just two um, pattern papers on the side here. I'm not stub punching any of this. I think it looks good just just like that. All right so now I'm going to go ahead and ink everything before and tape everything before I attach it. And then for the opposite side I am repeating pattern. So everything's gonna be identical on this side and this side. The only thing that would probably be different is our closure piece. Um, we're gonna have a magnetic closure piece for to keep these flat and closed. So that's probably gonna be different. Before we mat these pages, we need to add our magnets. Um, so we are going to, we just need one magnet for one page. Um, on each side and then we're going to use um, a, a, this is a one of the chipboard cutouts we're only going to magnet one side attach this to this side so that's how our closure is going to act so we're going to go ahead and measure of course I want it centered and then I'm going to have it three eighths from the edge. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side on the same flap. This way when it closes they're actually going to be on opposite flaps so the magnets won't intervene with itself. Okay. Let's get those taped down. All right, next we're gonna attach our big pieces. This is going to be underneath the pocket flap and this needs to get attached before we attach our pocket. So I'm gonna just run one ATG. Um, so this piece doesn't cover the whole um, area because it didn't need to. So it's going to be a one eighth inch border, um, top, bottom, and side. And then our pocket piece is going to get taped. It's hard to see, so I'm gonna flip this over. It's hard to see the top with the black card stack underneath it. So I had to go out of frame for a second. Again, 
and it's hard to see with the black underneath it. Making sure I'm just getting it on the pocket and nothing else. There we go. Perfect for our pocket piece. And we're going to attach our pocket strip. Looking good. Next, we need to get our magnet on our magnet piece. So we're gonna set our magnet piece down right there. And tape, if I can get it off my finger, to our magnet. Okay. Before I take it off, I'm going to see where I want to place this. So I'm going to attach this piece first before I attach it on here. So I'm going to add my tape to the back of this real quick. So we're going to want to measure. I'm going to do... Just making ah no, I was making sure it's in the right spot. As long as I don't let go of it. Perfect. I have that centered and then we're going to remove the tape backing and close. There we go. Add our tape. And then I cut out um, a piece um, for the backing. So all I did was um, trace this right here and then cut it out and um, shorten it so it has that little lip. So it's about like an eighth border around it. So I did that. just to cover this magnet. There we go. Now of course you could have used the pattern paper to match the back of this is the star one but the black works fine for me that's not the focal point of the page so it looks I like it it's turning out good we need some tags all right next we have the insides so um, pretty simple for the flaps
There's those two. And we have um, some inside mats. Oh, my finger is just getting caught in all the stickiness. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do the inside flaps. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Because um, I already had these uh, pieces cut out, um, I'm using them. So you can do um, like that, or both go in the same way, or you can even do... Um, a full mat or in the middle and do this in the middle with two skinnier mats. So I'm just going to do um, like this. I'm removing the tape backing. And then the one last thing is this center.
Let go. Let go. Let. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go. Ah. Sorry, I just got to turn it so I can see it better. Now the middle part, um, I think my second book, I'm doing it this way. I'm going to do the middle part where the mat is going um, this way and then the uh, pattern paper on the top or bottom. Ah. So I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can get a better angle, a better view. Make sure everything is lining up. And there we are. This is such a big space where not only I, I can see a picture going here, but some words at the bottom um, or the top, some, some journaling. Uh, all right, that is one side. Um, the uh, other side is going to be the exact same thing. I have the same thing this side as this side. Of course, you don't have to do it like that. That's, I just like to have, when things are mirrored image, having the same papers on there. So let me go ahead and get this matted um, off camera and I'll show you what it looks like. I've now completed the both sides of the matting. So it looks super clean. So this side is exactly like the other side. Uh, with the exception of the color of the little mats and of course these two right here but it's the same same flow with just a tad bit of difference um, but I love the front being mirrored image except for the two pieces um, two focal point pieces so it looks good it needs my um, needs some tags and still um, room for photos so I like how it's still got room, both both of the, both of them still have plenty of room for photos. So, and decorations, we still gotta add some stickers and stuff, but those are the two styles, page one and page two. All right, for our tags for our second page style, um, we have just four um, tag, tag pieces and then I cut out some mats using the die that I have so I just um, took the next so this is the die that I have and I just took one that was smaller that would fit on this mat then I'm going to attach all of them uh, to that so it's four per um, two per side four per page so let me attach those all right, I have attached all of my mats, and I'm just going to place them in my album. And there we go. That would complete that page. Okay, I have completed all of my pages. So you've seen two of them. So I wanted to go through the other two. Um, so this is page style one. So we have our waterfall section, and then we have our tags and pockets, our regular tags, and then our open tag. So that is um, page three, style one, and then our page four, which is style two. As our tags and then we can open our page open our flaps so I have this part going horizontally and the first one um, the second page I have it going um, vertical so depends on um, 
what you like. I liked to do, so you can do them both the same way, but I like to give a little bit of variety. And there are our four pages. Um, so that completes this uh, video. So remember, this is a part two. Um, the first part was of the cover. Um, so let me, I'm going to open my cover and put my pages in here. And just keep an eye out on my um, blog or um, Facebook page for updated pictures for when I get these guys decorated. Um, so please follow me um, and like my Facebook page, Facebook dot com slash web of creativity and then um, you can subscribe on my channel um, on my blog www.webofcreativity.net tutorial and kits are on my blog and thank you for watching